Hello and welcome back to another video on the Football Zone and to another weekend preview previewing Premier League Championship and FA Cup action. Let's get straight into it with them with the Premier League action on Friday night as Wolves entertain Leeds. And yeah, Wolves and um, two wins on the trot after going on a bit of a shaky run, so they'll be very pleased with that. As for Leeds, though, getting that crucial last minute winner against Norwich last time out, so both teams coming into this on the back of the win. But yeah, you just feel like Wolves, the home team, probably have more quality than Leeds and have to be considered favourites for this one, which is why I'm going to say it'll be a 1 0 home. W. Moving on into Villa Park, and again, I'm really looking forward to Villa um, taking on Arsenal. And yeah, um, Arsenal obviously wants to overcome the disappointment of that result away um, to Villa last time, um, away to live. Uh, sorry, at home to Liverpool um, last time out. But for Villa, um, yeah, two one defeat to West Ham. Um, before that on a really good run of form and I think they'll come into this one with confidence but Arsenal need to get back on track just to avenge any fears of being caught up in a race for the top four but I fancy Arsenal in this one really it's all went bad against Liverpool I'm going to say 2-0 moving on then to um, Sunday's Premier League games Leicester taking on Brentford at um, the King Power Stadium and Leicester um, yeah um, obviously losing to Arsenal last time out was a disappointing result but you know um, they're still looking strong aren't they um at the moment in the league, in the league anyway, really, um, three three wins in all competitions, four wins sorry in all competitions before that. For Brentford though, two wins on the top, definitely picking up pace and looking clear for relegation. But I do fancy Leicester in this one. I think they just got a slight extra bit, which is why I'm going to say two 0 Moving on then to Tottenham as they host West Ham at um, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, and Tottenham, um, yeah, they'll come into this one um, feeling relatively confident, won't they? After that two 0 win away to Brighton. Um, but for West Ham, after a bit of a shoddy run, um, getting a win against Aston Villa last time out will be a big momentum boost for them. And, you know, I, they're still in sixth place, still in the race for the top four. It's very unlikely, but, you know, they'll keep pushing for it, uh, even for just for a Europa League spot. But I do fancy Spurs here. I think they've just got that time a bit more, which is, I'm going to say 1-0. Moving on then to um, Saturday's Championship action, and starting off um, on, on the lunchtime game as Derby host commentary. And, yeah, Derby... Um, Four losses in the last five. Their hopes of staying up seem to kind of be starting to unravel a little bit, which is so disappointing. But they do need a victory here. For commentary, though, very inconsistent recently. Form's kind of tailed off a bit. And for Derby, yeah, they just need to win out somewhere. And I just feel like they're going to get it. I just don't think they'll go down without a fight this Derby team. And I can see them picking up the winner. I'm going to say 1-0. Moving on then to Sheffield United against Barnsley. And one of the teams Derby is competing to stay up with. Uh, yeah, this is a very hard game for them. Away to Sheffield United. I who haven't been on the best of forms recently. Just one point from the last um, two games. So Paul Hecking bottom side will desperately wanting um, to pick it up. Um, and yeah, I think they should be able to. Barnsley, of course, um, three unbeaten. But you know, um, still, I, they were all home games really. I fancy Sheffield United. United away in this one, um, definitely. I'm going to say 2 0. Moving on then to Bristol City as they take on um, West Brom at Ashton Gate. And Bristol City, obviously, um, yeah, on a really awful run of form at the moment. 2 0 defeat to Barnsley last time out, and um, really not good enough at all, was it? Um, and yeah, they're taking on a West Brom side there, um, who have definitely improved in the last three games and seem to be finally clicking on Steve Bruce after that disastrous run. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say a uh, win for West Brom in this one, and I think it will be 2-0. Um, yeah, I think this could be quite comfortable. Moving on then to a huge game at the top of the championship as Huddersfield take on Bournemouth. Um, and yeah, Huddersfield, obviously their form's really tailed off in the last three, and you know, um, they're probably not threats to um, Bournemouth anymore, and their focus should really be staying in the playoffs. Um, but yeah, for Bournemouth, you never know because their form is still soddy. Um, really, really disappointing um, home point against Reading last time out. That's a game they should have been winning. Um, yeah, I don't fancy this to be a great game. I can see it a bit nil-nil with both all, with the way both of these teams have been performing recently. Moving on then to Hull as they take on Luton at um, the KCOM Stadium. And Hull will be looking to build on four points from the last two and a really solid way win at Coventry last time out. Um, but Luton, um, four and a win over Preston. Um, but yeah, in all comps, they have lost through the last five, so it's just about finding consistency again for Luton, really. Um, but, you know, still looking in the position in the playoff places. Um, so, yeah, I think they'll come into this one with confidence, and I think they are the best team, and I can get the win here. I'm going to say 2-0 to Luton. Moving on then to um, the Select Car Leasing Stadium as Reading host Blackburn, and Reading will be looking to build on that 1-1 draw away to Bournemouth, a really, really solid result. But Blackburn finally able to score against Derby, um, and they'll be looking to build on that as well. Um, 
So yeah, I think Blackburn, um, they'll definitely be coming to this one feeling more confident. Still sitting in a playoff position, still looking strong. Um, so yeah, I think they will be good enough to get past Reading, but I think Reading will put up a fight. I'm going to say 1-0 to Rovers. Moving on then to a game at um, Bet365 Stadium as Coast Millwall. And Stoke obviously in really, really poor form at the moment. Um, and yeah, their season's really just petering out in 16th at the moment, which is disappointing beyond belief really for them. Um, and yeah, taking on a more side intense playoff hopes aren't totally gone. Still only two points off, but yeah, it's just so cro- crowded in and around there. Um, you never know, a few wins may could suddenly be clear, but who knows, it's hard to call really. But I fancy Millwall in this one, they're just in a great position at the moment um, with their form. I'm going to say 1 0. Moving on then to Swansea as they host Birmingham at um, the Liberty Stadium, and Swansea. Um, yeah, they come into this one off the back of a crazy 3-2 win against Peterborough, but two losses beforehand. But obviously, we know Peterborough aren't great, um, but yeah, Birmingham aren't great really at all, are they? Um, yeah, just look at their recent form, um, just over a sustained period of time, really. It's just been average at best, uh, really. So yeah, you fancy Swansea at this one with home advantage, but yeah, it's a game between the two sides that, let's face it, haven't been too great. Moving on then to... Um, Monday and um, Sunday's championship action, and that is uh, QPR hosting Peterborough. And QPR, after that disappointing collapse at uh, Forest and Jeff, yeah, four and um, three losses in the last four, um, they'll be wanting to come back into this one um, with a win against Peterborough side who are really poor. And yeah, I think with a few winnable home games just gone, I kind of, kind of think they squandered their last chance of staying up. Um, so yeah, I think it will be a 1 0 win to QPR here, and I can see getting it. Um, yeah, should be an easy one, really. Moving on then to uh, the FA Cup and starting off with a game on Saturday, uh, which obviously has had a lot of surround- uh, controversy surrounding it. Middlesbrough are taking on Chelsea. Thank God this man's allowed and all of that. I mean, I don't think that really needs to be said. But yeah, moving on to the football itself, Middlesbrough taking on Chelsea. And Chelsea, yeah, obviously advancing through last time out in the Champions League. So I mean, it's coming to this one for the confidence. Um, and Middlesbrough... Um, yeah, having a bit of a dip in the championship. So, yeah, that makes me think that Chelsea will be able to get the win here. Moving, um, so, yeah, I'm going to say 2 now. sorry. Um, moving on, um, Crystal Palace take on Everton at um, Celeste Park. And, yeah, Palace, um, obviously, um, getting that incredible point against Man City last time out. Really dug in to get that point. And a great defensive job from them. Against the Everton side, they're really struggling. And, um, yeah, one advantage um, Palace have here that is really substantial is that, um, really, they only have... Um, the the league, the cup to concentrate on where Everton have the league as well, which makes me think Palace will get to Wembley here. I'm going to say one 0 to Palace. Moving on, then Southampton take on Manchester City at um, St Mary's, and yeah, Manchester City obviously um, drawing last night to Palace in a really spirited performance by Palace, but City yeah just showing signs of wobble while Liverpool go strength to strength. Um, and yeah, um, so City really needs to win this one, not not only to get their league form back on track, but also to advance to Wembley after getting knocked out in the Carabao Cup early. Surely City can't go a season without winning a domestic trophy. Um, I don't think they will. I think City will get the win here. I'm going to say 2-0 to City. Um, moving on then um, to the final semi-final, Nottingham Forest, at uh, final quarter-final, sorry, Nottingham Forest taking on Liverpool at the City ground. And Nottingham Forest, um, 3-1 win over QPR last time out. Really, really solid result. Um, but yeah, um, Liverpool, they're looking good at the moment, aren't they? Um, 2 0 win over Arsenal, just showing how good they really are. Um, so yeah, they'll come into this one full of confidence, and I think Klopp will use it as an opportunity to rest a few players. Uh, that tends to be what he does in even games that depends on Wembley, but I can sort of see them picking up comfortable wear. Anyway, guys, that's it for you. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and follow the comments down below. Follow us to the links which made for daily football news and subscribe to my channel. Screen now, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace.